Hey guys, it's Michaela, and today I'm going to walk you through how to delete your Google Classroom account. It's pretty quick and simple, so let's jump in. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and search for myaccount.google.com, myaccount.google.com, and go ahead and log into the account that is associated with your Google Classroom. The next thing you want to do is go ahead and go to date and data and personalization, which is going to be the very top to your right. Go ahead and click on that. From here, all you have to do is scroll all the way down until you see download, delete, or make a plan for your data. And we're gonna go ahead and do delete a service or your account. And then from here, you're gonna go ahead and hit delete your account. And then it's gonna ask you to put in your password. So go ahead and do that now. Once you're here, it's gonna give you a breakdown of your Google account and deleting it and you're just gonna have to go all the way down and it's gonna show you everything you're gonna delete when you delete your Google Classroom. This is because when you're deleting a Google Classroom account, it's connected to your Google Gmail account, it's connected to your Drive, your YouTube, and it shows you all the things that you have right now that it's connected to. You can't just delete a Google Classroom account, it deletes the entire email associated with it. So if you wanna to continue to do that, just know it's gonna be permanently deleted, your entire Gmail account and anything that's associated with it, and there's no way to get it back. However, there is another option if you don't want to just delete your Google Classroom account, you could just log out of the account um, and then start using a you know different email that's not associated with your Google Classroom or just have it on mute or notifications off. But that's your other workaround if you don't want to go ahead and delete your Google Classroom account indefinitely because that will delete everything that's associated with that email that's associated with a Google Classroom account. If you guys have any questions on any of that, let us know in the comments below. If not, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe.